Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you. I hope you had a very nice week. Today is Friday, so very, very nice. As usual, uh, the first thing we will do is to check about the platform. So this is the class of tonight. Okay, and this is the question for tonight. Okay, also remember that we need to do the exercise. Exercise four, homework number four. So you just need to just click the right option here, okay? And, uh, okay, uh, we had a problem. Teníamos un problema, creo que en esta, ¿verdad? En el número cuatro me estaban diciendo que dicen weekends of option staff y todo eso, ¿verdad? Eh, la respuesta que toma la plataforma es esta. Weekends of will be a good option to have happy employees, period. Okay, así es como tenemos que ponerlo para que nos tome bien la, la respuesta número cuatro. So, weekends off will be a good option to have happy employees, period. No sé si hay alguna pregunta o duda. Staff es la opción que no no va, esa palabra no va. Así la toma el sistema. ¿Preguntas o dudas con esta parte? No questions. Álvaro. Good evening. Good evening. Sí, este, yo sí he tenido mucho problema con este. ¿Con este ejercicio? Con este número cuatro. Lo, lo este, e incluso, quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. Quiero ver. Uh -huh. Una que supuestamente ya la comparé con todos acá y de The Working Less for... The working less or will be la número tres benefits ajá uh -huh, benefit another la he escrito como 40 veces working less hour will be uh, benefit another punto ok no will be another benefit punto will be another will be benefit Another benefit. Oh. Hmm. Another benefit, punto. Y es muy importante que no le deje ningún espacio. Si le deja un espacio, no se la toma. Si quiere, la puede poner ahorita, a ver si se la agarra. Borre todo y pone todo así como lo tenía y solo es de poner al final another. Would be another benefit, punto. Okay, para los que recién nos sintonizan en el número 4, quedaría weekends off will be a good option okay. to have happy employees, punto. Staff no se pone, ¿verdad? Tiene un error en la plataforma, no va a staff, esa palabra no va. ¿Ese la agarró, Álvaro? Sí. Good. ¿Alguna otra? Teacher. Go ahead. Puede repetir la cuatro. Por supuesto, ah, eso en inglés. So, sería weekends off will be a good option to have happy employees, period. Entonces, de las que están arriba, staff no va. Por eso creo que no la agarra. Y hay que poner el punto para que se la agarre. Puede intentar si quiere y si alguien tiene más preguntas. Por eso estoy haciendo esto al principio. Por alguna pregunta o duda que pueda haber, pues la solventamos. ¿verdad? A veces la plataforma tiene errores. Entonces, por eso les, de les decía al principio, cualquier cosa, pues me dicen y lo revisamos. ¿verdad? Aquí el error es que staff no se tiene que poner en la respuesta. Ok. Ok, okay gracias. Perfecto. ¿Alguna otra? Ajá. Me, the number five. 
that I have no problem. Let's check number five. Okay, this say uh, Maria could be of great help in the inventory department period. Si quiere la burra, la vuelve a poner. A ver si se la gana. Se la vamos a repetir. María could be of great help in the inventory department. Period. ¿Se la agarró bien? Give me a, minute, a second, please. Of course. Ya vemos los demás compañeros. Great, me ayuda en esta oración entonces. Eh, no, es que ese es el problema que a veces, bueno, aquí está, mire, could be of great. Ok. So, María could be of great help in the inventory department. Ah, ok. Ok, Álvaro tiene más preguntas. I got it now. Ok, very good, Rolando. Thank Ahí. you. Sí, con esta es donde está la cajita y hay que escribir toda la oración. A veces, ¿verdad? Hay situaciones donde no la agarra o si la agarra. O a veces un espacio, o sea, la diferencia, un símbolo. El punto a veces lo lleva, a veces no lo lleva. Esa es lo de las primeras cosas que tenemos que revisar. A veces le ponemos el punto y no lo agarra, ¿verdad? Le quitamos el punto y ya lo agarra. So, that happens sometimes. Um, So, sí, es, sí, este, teacher, eh, con la number one, la number one eh, yo le puse, it would be a read opportunity abroad to study, to study. No, to study abroad, abroad va al final, mm, iba el punto. To study abroad. To study abroad. To study abroad. Sí, la time expression casi siempre va al final. Sí, a veces puede ir en medio, pero dependiendo de cuál es It's la time. Y el punto. Ok. Ok. ¿Alguna otra sí. pregunta, duda? ¿Alguna otra de este ejercicio que no esté correcta o que le, le haya salido mal a alguien? Recién ingreso, teacher, este, y en las últimas dos no, no, no las he podido hacer. Vaya, las revisamos, pero con mucho gusto las repetimos. Sería weekends off, la número cuatro, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Weekend off would be a good option to have happy employees, period. Aquí la palabra que no va a poner es staff. Mm -hmm. Y si se fija ahí está correcta, o sea que si se la va a agarrar. Weekends off will be a good option to have happy employees. Ahí está. Y por supuesto podemos ver el número 5. Esa sí está toda. Sería María could be of great help in the inventory department. Period. Punto. Gracias. Perfecto. ¿Alguien más? Nadie más. Ok, very good. I'm very happy that everything is working fine now. Remember that we need to do homework number four. Ok. And as usual, we are going to check the attendance. So, let's see. Álvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Present here, teacher. Good. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. Present. Good. Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdames. Present, teacher. Good. Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villatoro. Present. Good. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present. Good. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. 
Good. Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quinteros Umaña. I'm here, teacher. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Oops. Uh, Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. I'm here. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. Present. Good. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Present. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Karen Lisette Sánchez Castro. Catherine Indira Velázquez Castro. Marlon, good, perfect. Marlon Osvaldo Paniagua Hernández. Oh, I'm sorry? Ah, Karen, okay. Good, Karen Sanchez here. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Marlon. Okay, thank you, Karen. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Present. Good. And Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. I'm here to turn. Very good. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to continue with the class of tonight. Okay. Tonight Excuse we're going to. Uh -huh. Ah, Ulisa. Very good. I'm Ulisa. Perfect. Got you. Okay. So now we're going to check. We're going to start about the class. So tonight we're going to check about uh, applying for a job application. Question. What is a job application? What is that? ¿Qué es una job application? Pero en inglés, tratemos ahora de explicar en inglés what is a job application. It's a form to apply a new job. Very good. Is the way for you to apply for a job. Okay? for a position, okay? Very good, so, uh, have you ever applied to a job in English, alguna vez? Have you ever applied to a job in English? Yes. Good, what happened? Uh, I was a little nervous, but what's good is the the job application was only for understand with English bar for email. Okay, perfect. So, and you got the job? Yeah, I just uh, just uh use English for and um, for emails, reading emails, and send emails in oh. English. Ah, very good. So it was for English emails. Yeah. Nice, and uh, you still have the job, so the experience was very good. Yeah, the, but it's because I have to, I don't know how to say, to tratar con, como tratar con personas. Uh, the, you need to relate, to work with people. Okay, relate to work with, uh, I don't know, proveedores. Uh, providers. Providers for the company. Okay. Very good. Very interesting. Nice. Okay. okay. Entonces, vamos a empezar. Este es un pequeño reading que yo traigo que es bastante nice. So, it says, what is a job application? Okay. 
Vamos a leer, no es tanto lo que hay que leer, bueno, es algo, ¿verdad? Pero aquí está una job application para que veamos más o menos qué es lo que lleva la job application y cómo podemos nosotros aplicar a un trabajo. Yo sé que hay muchos acá, eh, no solo en este grupo, sino en todos los grupos, eh, que quieren aplicar a un nuevo empleo, ¿verdad? Y que para eso están acá en inglés. Entonces, es a good idea. Esto no es parte como que así mucho del, del programa, pero lo vamos a ver, ¿ok? Okay, let's repeat. So we're going to repeat everybody. A job application. A job, a job application. application. It's a form that employers. It's a form, it's a form that employers. Ask job applicants. Ask job applicants. To fill out. Oh. To learn about their work history. To learn about, learn their, about, their, about, their, about history. their work history. These forms are often completed online. These forms are often completed online. But some businesses. But some businesses still use paper applications. Learn more about job applications. Learn more about and what to expect when you complete one. And what and is the complete Very good. Vamos a ir chequeando algunas cosas de vocabulario. Algunas se las voy a decir yo y las otras las buscan ustedes y me la dicen. So, uh, it says job application is a form. What is a form? Un formulario. Formulario. Very good. So, a job application is a form that employees Ask job applicants, what is a job applicant? Applicante a un trabajo. Very good. Uh -huh. So, employers uh, ask job applicants. So, what are employers? <coughs> Empleador. Empleador. Very good. That employers ask job applicants to fill out what is fill out. Esa va junta. Llenar. Llenar, completar. Very good. So a job application is a form that employers ask just a job applicants to fill out to learn about their work history. En esa parte creo que no hay pregunta, ¿verdad? Se entiende lo que dice. No vamos a ir traduciendo todo porque... Pues no hay que traducir, pero si no entienden alguna parte, me dicen. So, it says, these forms are often completed online. What is often? A menudo. A menudo, frecuentemente. So, these forms are often completed online. But some businesses, recordemos el plural, businesses still use paper application. What is still? Como permanecer o, o, o que sigue algo así. Todavía. Todavía. Continúan, ¿verdad? Todavía usan aplicaciones de papel. So, lo que dice al final es que casi siempre es en línea, pero que sí también se puede hacer en papel físico. And then it says learn more about job applications and what to expect when you complete one. What is expect? Expectativa. Expectativa. ¿Qué esperar, verdad? O sea, ¿qué esperar cuando se completa una? Vamos a seguir leyendo. So, everybody, please repeat. What is a job application? What is a job application? A job application is an official form. A job application is an official form. That employers ask all applicants. For a position to fill out. 
You may fill out the application. You may fill out, may fill out, fill out the application. application through a third party job listing yes. site. Or by visiting the website. Or by visiting the website of the potential employer. Of the potential Some employers may ask you to fill out a paper application. Ok. Creería yo que en la primera línea no hay preguntas. La que dice, a job application is an official form that employers ask all applicants for a position to fill out. ¿Hay alguna pregunta en esa? Si hay preguntas, me dicen. No, no preguntas. Se entiende, that, that is fine. And then it says, you may fill out the application through. What is through? A través. A través, very good. A través de, y luego dice, esto va todo junto. A third party job listing site. Todo esto es una sola cosa. A third party job listing site. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Alguien sabe? <coughs> Es como una tercera persona, como... Ah, por ahí va. Un third party es como un tercero. Entonces, no es persona, sino que es un tercero, un sitio que no es parte de la compañía. Eso es como cuando ustedes llenan uh, una aplicación en Tecoloco, ¿verdad? No es para la empresa directamente, sino que hay otra, una tercera, un tercero incluido, que es un sitio web. Muchas compañías a través del mundo hacen eso y en El Salvador no es la excepción. Entonces, a veces ustedes buscan o hay eh, sitios web que ofrecen muchos empleos y ustedes vienen y dicen, esta me gusta y empiezan a llenar la application. Entonces, esa es una third party job listing site, que es como it's un like, sitio web. Uh -huh. It's like the Our thousand, our thousand. Our thousand? What do you mean? Outsourcing? Outsourcing, yeah. It's like oh, outsourcing. Okay. Entonces, sí, es como un sitio web de empleos que es un tercero. No es la compañía exactamente donde ustedes quieren trabajar. Ellos contratan okay. a esta compañía para que les busquen empleados. So, that is, todo eso, a third party job listing site. Okay. Or, it says, by visiting the website of the potential employer. Crearía yo que hasta ahí no hay preguntas, pero ustedes me dicen si hay preguntas. Y al final dice, some employers may ask you to fill out a paper application. También creería que no hay preguntas, pero si hay preguntas, me dicen. Questions on the first one? Preguntas en el primer párrafo? Claro como la horchata. Good. Si hay preguntas, me dicen. Then, este sitio se lo voy a mandar luego ahí en el, en el WhatsApp para que lo tengan si lo quieren practicar. Uh, vamos a repetir el siguiente. Everybody, please. Employers use job applications. Employer use job applications. Employers job use job applications. Application. Because they provide a consistent format with the same questions that must be answered by each person who applies for an open position. Employers can easily compare the background and work experience of each applicant. Ok, entonces creo que no hay muchas preguntas, pero chequemos, ¿verdad? Employers use job applications because they provide 
What is provide? Salud. Proveer. Proveer. Okay. So they provide a consistent format. What is a consistent format? Consistent format. Eso está fácil. Sería un formato consistente. Se refiere a que así pueden ellos hacer las mismas preguntas a todos los aplicantes. ¿verdad? Está estandarizado. Es un mismo estándar. Está homogenizado, o sea, son las mismas preguntas para todos. Ok, ah, de hecho es lo que dice, with the same questions, eh, same es lo mismo, las mismas preguntas aquí, with the same questions, con las mismas preguntas, that must, what is must? Must. Must. <coughs> must. 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 Es como debe, debe. Debe, muy bien. Obligation. Eh, yeah. Ajá. Entonces, ajá, le da un formato consistente para que tenga las mismas preguntas y que deben ser answer. Deben ser, vea. Answer. What is answer? Respuesta. Respuesta. Respondidas. Respondidas en este caso. Deben ser respondidas. Respondidas. Ajá. By each person who applies for an open position. Employers can easily. What is easily? Facilmente. 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 Very good. So employers can easily compare the background. What is the background? Conocimiento. En este caso es como lo que, el conocimiento, lo, lo básico de las personas. Pueden comparar entonces las empresas, es lo que dice este párrafo, que al hacer las mismas preguntas para todos que tienen que ser contestadas por los aplicantes pueden comparar lo que es de las personas, o sea, es como su uh, no solo sus conocimientos y sus experiencias, sino quién es esta persona, ¿verdad? su background and work experience of each applicant, eso es lo que dice vamos a chequear el siguiente, vamos a leer los dos de una vez, everybody please repeat alternate definition Alternate definition. The materials you submit. The materials to be considered. To be considered for a job. For a job. Including your resume. Including your resume. And cover letter. In color. Alternate name. Alternate name. Employment application. Employment application. Ok, entonces alternate definition se refiere a que esta es una segunda definición de lo que es uh, una job application. O sea, son los materiales que ustedes submit, que es como enviar, para ser considerados para un trabajo, incluyendo el resume. ¿Qué es resume? Resumen. Sería el currículum. O sea, en, uh -huh. en, en inglés hay algo que se llama currículum invitado y, al, y también algo que se llama resume. El lunes, de hecho, vamos a ver, a hablar de eso específicamente. En sí, cover, uh -huh. Excuse me, eh, yo tengo una duda por cuando se pronuncia resume, la E no se debería de pronunciar, pero ahí se dice resume. Resume. O sea, resume. resume. Eso es porque la palabra viene del francés. Entonces, oh. a veces como acá en español usamos a veces palabras de otros idiomas, como kindergarten, ¿verdad? que es, es alemán, que es jardín de niños. Lo mismo pasa aquí, resume. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Cover letter, what is a cover letter? Una carta de presentación. Perfecto, algo así como una carta. Cuando en Estados Unidos, en países así de habla inglesa, es Inglaterra, ustedes aplican a un trabajo, tienen que llenar la job application incluir su resumen, o sea, su currículum, y una cover letter. La cover letter es algo que ustedes hacen como ¿por qué quieren trabajar en la empresa? ¿Por qué quieren esta posición? Algo por el estilo. Entonces, las tres cosas son importantes. Si usted no hace una, a veces simplemente no lo toman en cuenta. So, uh, this happens. Y esto es una muy buena práctica para cuando ustedes estén aplicando a un trabajo ya 
y ya anden por Estados Unidos, ¿verdad? Que sepan cómo tienen que hacer estos procesos. Alternate, uh, alternate, no, alternate name, ese sería un nombre alternativo de job application que puede ser employment application, aplicación de empleo. ¿verdad? So, that is it. Let's continue reading. Vamos a continuar. Everybody, please repeat. How job applications work. How job applications work. Unlike a resume and cover letter. Which are written and formatted. Which are written and formatted. To highlight your most significant. To highlight your most significant. And impressive credentials. And impressive credentials. A job application is a list of questions. And your application is a list of questions. That require factual responses. Some of the items you'll typically be asked to include are you'll typically Okay, so let's check. Unlike, what is unlike? Diferente. Diferente. En este caso, si lo estuviésemos traduciendo, tendríamos que poner algo así como a diferencia del currículum y la cover letter, ¿verdad? O sea, it's not the same. ¿Ok? Which are written. Written, este es el pasado participio de write, escrito. Y este también, format, formateado. Esta sí. What is highlight? Eh, resaltar resaltar very good so to highlight your most significant and impressive credentials a job application is a list of questions that require factual responses factual se refiere a hechos verdad cosas que o es o no es verdad some of the items uh, what is items um, I think preguntas algunas de las preguntas puede ser en este caso, alguna de las cosas o algo por el estilo, ¿verdad? Que típicamente le preguntarán, incluyen, y aquí se vamos a repetir. Everybody, please. Your personal information. Your personal information. Name. Name. Address. 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 Email address. Email address. And phone number. And and date of employment. Date of employment. Date of employment. Positions held. Positions held. Names and contact information for supervisors. Name and contact information for supervisors. Date and subject area of degrees. Date and subject area of degrees. Where your degree was obtained, if applicable. Where, where your degree, your degree was obtained, if applicable. Very good. Pensaría que en el primero no hay pregunta, pero your personal information, name, address, email, address. Teacher, uh -huh. teacher question, teacher question. Uh -huh. Items, items, no me quedó claro. Items. items. Lo que pasa es que items, items. es la palabra, ajá, en inglés se dice items. Um, pero es como items. cuando usted dice en español ítems, los ítems, o sea, sí. las diferentes cosas, no. productos, pueden ser preguntas en este caso, diferentes de sí, glose de algo. Entonces, mm -hmm. items en inglés, ítems, como, como, como la palabra que usamos en español. Si yo le digo, eh, estos ítems son los que le voy a traer, mire, o los que vamos a discutir son estos ítems, mm -hmm. o it's the same. Okay. Only the, the pronunciation is different. It's items. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. Good, perfect. So, uh, in the first one, no questions, right? Name, address, email address, and phone number. Dates of employment. Por supuesto, a las fechas en las que estuvo empleado. Positions held. Las posiciones que tuvo. Names and contact information of supervisors. 
ajá, los, número, los nombres, o sea, la información de sus supervisores anteriores para llamarles y ver si es cierto, ¿verdad? Dates and subjects, area of degrees. Esa sería como las fechas y las especialidades o las materias en las que usted obtuvo su, su grado, o sea, un grado de, de educación. Uh, meaning bachelor or uh, master degree or anything like that. Eh, where your degree was obtained, if applicable. So, ¿a dónde se graduó, verdad? De la universidad. ¿De cuál college? Eso sería estas partes. Let's continue reading. Everybody, let's repeat. Fill out the application thoroughly. Fill out, Fill out the application thoroughly. And proofread. And proofread. It for errors before you submit it. If you're given a paper application to complete, see if you can take it home so you don't feel rushed while filling it out. Okay, so fill out the application thoroughly. What is thoroughly? Anybody knows? <coughs> okay, es completamente, o sea, no deje nada en blanco. ¿verdad? Esa es la primera recomendación. So fill out the application thoroughly. And proofread, what is proofread? Evitar. Evitar algo así. Sería como revisar, ¿verdad? Ajá, o evitar errores antes. O sea, hay que revisarla antes de enviarla. Si sí, lo está haciendo en línea, ¿verdad? So that is very important. Proofread, ¿ok? Before you submit. If you're given a paper application to complete, see if you can take it home so you don't feel rushed. What is rushed? Okay. Es prisa. No. Prisa, very good. Entonces, si le dan, dice, una, un formulario de papel, o sea, algo físico, vea si se la puede llevar a su casa para no estar ahí a la carrera llenándolo, ¿verdad? Porque eso nos puede causar problemas. Eh, y hay que leer bien, ¿verdad? Eso es muy importante. Incluso en español a veces le dicen ahí apellidos, nombres, y uno lo llena al revés. So, that's not good. Let's continue reading, everybody. Let's repeat. Job applications may also ask the job application may also ask may for, also ask. For, for the names and contact information for the names and contact, the names and contact information of references and employers of reference and employers, especially direct supervisors. Especially, especially direct supervisors. You may also be asked, you may, you may also be asked if your prospective employer can contact if your prospective employer can contact your current employer. Your, your current, current employer. You can answer yes or no. You can, you can answer, answer yes, or or no. yes or no. Employers understand that you may not want. Employers understand that you may not. May not. Uh, your current employer to know. You're looking for another position. You're looking for another position. Okay, so it says job applications may. What is may? <clears throat> okay, este también es un moy. 
Ajá, este también es un modal, como lo que hemos visto, como can, como would, como could. May es poder, poder pero de posibilidad. Puede o puede no serla. De, ahí, de, hecho, de hecho, ahí viene la palabra maybe, the may. Also, entonces, your application may also ask for the names and contact information of references and employers, especially direct supervisors. You may also be asked if your prospective employer What is prospective employer? Perspectiva de empleo. Mm, no. Sería como el empleador potencial. O sea, como usted va a ah, pedir okay. trabajo y puede que sí o pueda que no. ¿verdad? Entonces, okay. entonces le pueden preguntar si ese, esa persona que le está entrevistando si puede contactar a su... El empleador prospecto. Ajá que se le puede contactar a su current employer, que es current. Current. Como actual. Actual, entonces sí, ¿verdad? Ese que le está entrevistando le puede preguntar, mire, podemos llamarle a su actual trabajo. Entonces ahí dice, ¿verdad? You can answer yes or no. Because employers understand that you may, recordemos que era may, not want your current, otra vez, Employer to know you're looking for another job. O sea, entienden ellos que, que a veces no, no quieren ustedes o la, o la persona que les está entrevistando saben que a veces no les han contado a los empleadores, a sus jefes que andan buscando otro trabajo. So, por eso, that is a good idea. Ok, let me then just check something. <coughs> ok, esta la vamos a leer todos juntos. So, Uh, the job application may also. The job application may also. The application may also. Ask for your social security number. Ask for, as for your social security, social security number. number. And your availability for work. And your, and your, and your availability, availability for, work. for work. At the end of the job application. At the end of the application, you'll be asked to sign. You'll be, you'll be asked, asked to sign. Or e sign the application. Or e sign, or e -sign, or e -sign the application. Your signature verifies. Your signature verifies. That all statements on the job application are true. It may also allow the employer to verify the information and give permissions for reference checking And give and for, for reference, reference, for reference checking. Okay, checking. Background checking. Background checking. Background checking. Background checking. And often. And often. And often, and often, often, often reviewing the results of drug testing. Reviewing the results the of the drug testing. testing. Okay, so let's check this part. It says the job application may also ask for your social security number and your availability for work. Todos sabemos que en Estados Unidos todo es el social security el importante. ¿verdad? Con eso pueden chequear cualquier cosa. Availability. What is availability? Habilidades. No, no. La disponibilidad. Disponibilidad. Okay, so. ¿Cómo está tan disponible a trabajar? Porque siempre hay que renunciar en el otro lugar, ¿verdad? And it says, at the end of the job application, you'll be asked to sign. What is sign? Me firma. Firmar. O sea, al final mm. le piden que firme, ¿verdad? O dice e-sign. Sí. E-sign es una firma electrónica. ¿verdad? Usted firma ahí en la computadora, tablet o algo por el estilo. The job application. Your signature, aquí esta significa su firma. Verifies, eh, verificar, that all statements, what are the statements? Do you remember? Estados, no. 
como... Puede ser como un estado, como lo que dijo, ¿verdad? En este caso es lo que dijo. Un statement es algo que uno afirma, uno declara. So, uh, your signature verifies that all statements on the job application are true. What is true? Verdad. Que sea verdad. Very good. It may also allow. What is allow? Permitir. 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 Very good. Entonces también permite al employer, al empleador, ¿verdad? Verify the information and give permission for reference checking. O sea que ahí cuando usted firma ya dice, acepto que se, se vaya a revisar todo de mí, ¿verdad? Todo lo que dije. Pueden llamar y ver las referencias, el background, el trabajo con sus supervisores. Eh, incluso pues, y dice often que frecuentemente, uh, drug testing, que sería un, un test de drogas. Entonces, um, that is the way that it works in English. Así trabaja en inglés. Let's check the other one. Everybody, let's continue. Note. Note. Some states don't allow employers. Some say don't. Some states don't, don't allow employers. Some states don't allow employers. To ask applicants about their criminal history. To ask applicants about, criminal history. about their criminal history. And federal law requires. And federal law requires. Employers to look at each applicant's circumstances. Employers to look at each applicant's circumstances. Around what crime was committed? And how long ago the conviction was? And how long ago the conviction was? Okay, esto es interesante, una nota, verdad? Algunos estados de de los Estados Unidos don't allow. ¿Qué era allow? Permitir. Permitir, muy bien. El vocabulario que habíamos viendo hay que irlo recordando. Um, don't allow employers to ask applicants about their criminal history. Esto es bien interesante. En Estados Unidos, eh, algunos estados, no todos, no le permiten a los empleadores preguntarle de su historial criminal. Y algunas leyes, y la ley federal de hecho, le pide al empleador que o sea, es que si le pregunta que revise también las circunstancias, el tipo de crimen que se cometió, hace cuándo fue, si fue convicto y todo por el estilo. O sea, que si ya pagó y es algo que las circunstancias permitieron, no tiene que negarle el empleo. Es prohibido que le niegue el empleo aún se ha salido de la cárcel, dependiendo del crimen y dependiendo de las circunstancias del crimen. O sea... No es que a todo el mundo le van a dar empleo, pero se tiene que evaluar. So, that is something. Good, 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 good. So, and this is an example of job application. Lo que tenemos a continuación es un ejemplo de lo que les podrían preguntar en una job application. And it says, seeing a sample job application can help you prepare and gather the information you need before you get started. What is gather? Ajá. Reunir. Reunir. Very good. Ok. La información. So, what is the, uh, what are the questions that they can ask you? La fecha de hoy, ¿verdad? Today's date. Name of position for which you are applying. So, the name of the position. I mean, technician in something, whatever. Your name. Your address. That includes the apartment or unit, the city, the state, the zip code. Ah, esto es importante. A ver, ¿cuál es el zip code del Salvador? Somebody knows? 503. Ajá. ¿Todos estamos de acuerdo? 503. No. Yes. Yes. Depende oh. de la y el zip code change. Ok. Para todo el país, 
el 503 es el código de país para llamar, pero no es el zip code. Entonces, sí cambia de país, I mean, de, de ciudad en ciudad, pero los cambios son bien mínimos. Para todo El Salvador, por si en caso alguna vez necesitan eso, es 00160. Ese es el zip code del de Salvador. So, it's very important information. And uh, otras cosas que le van a preguntar en la Java application, phone number, email address. Mm -hmm. When are you able to begin to work? What is begin? Iniciar. Iniciar. Con, uh, empezar. Very good. Are you legally eligible to work in the U.S.? Yes, no. Have you worked for this company in the past? Yes, no, and details. And then employment history. So your background, right? Position title. Responsibilities, esta palabra eh, sí nos cuesta mucho a nosotros en español, ¿verdad? No es responsibility, es responsibility. Important this one, ¿ok? Responsibilities. Employer from, ¿qué es eso? Como de cuándo inició a trabajar y hasta cuándo, ¿verdad? Employer address, the manager, the phone number. May we contact this employer? Yes or no. O sea, de ahí ustedes le ponen permiso si pueden contactar a ese proyecto. Reason for living. Ajá, ¿qué será eso? Reason for living. La razón por la que dejó su empleo. Very good. La razón por la que usted dijo, pues ya me voy, ¿verdad? Position title. Pues esta es otra, una segunda. Si ustedes se recuerdan, aquí empieza esta, ¿verdad? So, este es otro a trabajo. Position title, responsibilities, employer, uh, the period of time. Employer address, manager phone, and y aquí hay un tercero. Okay. And then we have educational background. Highest degree earned. So the highest, el grado de estudio más alto que tiene. Where? So in which school? Donde, verdad? Major se refiere a qué tipo de, de grado tiene. Si tiene ya una licenciatura o algo por el estilo. O minor sería un bachillerato. Dates attended, o sea, cuándo fue que fue a estudiar ahí, ¿verdad? From August to June de tal año, ¿verdad? Degree earned, earn sería como el grado que se ganó, el grado en el que se tituló, en qué escuela, igual el mayor o el minors, uh, dates attended, y aquí hay otro, porque hay gente que tiene varios diplomas, ¿verdad? And then it says, uh, list any work-related training and certifications. This is very important. Aquí donde ponemos todos los, los certificados que no son así como licenciatura, sino que, por ejemplo, cuando ya les den el, los diplomas de inglés, ¿verdad? Allí usted ya va a poner, tengo todos estos diplomas de inglés, ¿verdad? So, whatever it takes, or Excel, or anything. References, so this is like people that can provide information about you. Reference number one, the name, the, the, name, the title, uh, contact information, years of known, años de conocerse. Mm -hmm. Reference two, the same, name, title, contact information, years known. And, y aquí donde se autoriza y se firma, ¿verdad? que es lo que decía al final. I authorize you to verify the information listed above. Que es above, everybody? Sobre. Wow. Sobre. Very good. Arriba. ¿verdad? Todo lo que acabo de poner, que todo es cierto. I certify that the information contained in this employment application is accurate and truthful. What is accurate? <coughs> Acorde. Mm, not that one. Okay. Preciso. Preciso, exacto. Very good. And truthful. Esa creo que se entiende. ¿Qué es truthful? Teacher. Teacher, yeah. ¿cuál es la, la diferencia entre? Uh -huh. Sorry, teacher. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre about y above? Above y about. Sí. Above es posición, es una proposición que me dice arriba en un estado plano. About es cuando digo, le voy a hablar acerca de algo. 
Entonces, about es acerca de. Above es posición. Entonces, en este caso, above quiere decir lo que yo dije arriba, allá en el formulario arriba. About es si yo le digo, let's talk about football. Vamos a hablar acerca de fútbol. Ese es about. Ok. okay. Eh, truthful dijimos que era verdad, que es verdad. I understand that providing false information on this application may be grounds for not offering me employment or for the termination of my employment at any point in the future. Y ahí firma. Entonces yo entiendo, dice, de que si doy información falsa, pues ya no me van a ofrecer empleo o que pueden despedirme. So that is us. Ok. Um, that is it. Esto es todo, ¿verdad? La job yeah. application, el ejemplo y qué es una job application. Do you have any questions about this? Question. El no. job application es tipo, tipo como el curr un currículum. No. El currículum es lo que no. usted hace y manda. La job application sí. es un formulario que usted llena para aplicar a un empleo. Como cuando usted va a una empresa en línea, ¿qué le digo yo? Simán. Y ahí dice, ¿quiere ser parte de nuestra fuerza, verdad? Y le da clic y ahí le empiezan a preguntar nombre, dónde vive, experiencia, y usted va llenando. Esa es una job application. ¿Como una solicitud de empleo? Ah, sí, como una solicitud de empleo. Very good. Good. Any other question? Okay, so now we are going to check the attendance. Álvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Presente, teacher. Good. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. Present. Good. Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdames. Present, teacher. Good. Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villa Toro. Present, teacher. Good. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present. Good. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Present, teacher. Good. Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quinteros Umaña. Present, teacher. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Good. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Present. Good. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Present, teacher. Good. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. I'm here. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. Present. Good. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Present. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present. Good. Karen Lisette Sánchez Castro. Catherine Indira Velázquez Castro. Present. Good. Marlon Osvaldo Paniagua Hernández. Present. Good. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Present. Good. And... Uh -huh. eh, tuve problemas de conexión, pero I am here. Ok, very good, Karen. Thank you. Ok, and Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. I'm here, teacher. Very good, perfect. So let's continue with the class. Ok, let me just check here. Okay, so we are going to continue with the book. Okay, here we are. So, it says uh, job listing. I will be able to talk about benefits I will or could bring to a company. Okay, esto está bien interesante porque dice que va a ser, vamos a ser posible de 
hablar de los beneficios que traería a una compañía, o sea, por empleado. ¿no? Si ustedes lo emplean, ¿qué beneficios, qué, qué va a obtener la compañía? So, let's see. Everybody question. Number one. Can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? Uh-huh. Can you name three ways you contribute to company's mission? Anybody? Hello. Si se entiende la pregunta, no sé si hay preguntas con la pregunta. <coughs> ¿Puede tu nombre? No. Puedes tú nombrar. Puedes tú nombrar tres formas en las que contribuyes a la misión de tu compañía. No, no cambia el, el name. ¿verdad? Lo que pasa es que name no aquí es nada. verbo. Entonces es... Ahí sería, ¿puedes tú nombrar tres maneras en las que contribuyes a la misión de tu compañía? Eso está preguntando. So, the question is, can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? Uh -huh. Anybody? I am responsible. Very good. You are responsible. That is very important. Any other? Punctuality. I am punctual. Very good. Aha, uh -huh. alguien más dijo algo más? Hard worker. Hard worker. Very good. That is also very, very good. So the next question says, what specific benefits do you provide to your company? <coughs> huh? What specific benefits do you provide to your company? Uh -huh, my friends, what benefits do you provide to your company? Ajá. ¿Se entiende la pregunta? No sé si se nos entiende, pues le digo. ¿Se va a clinic? I'm sorry. Eh, sería de que cuáles son los beneficios que te da la compañía, ¿verdad? Lo que tú le das a tu compañía. O sea, ah, ¿por, qué? Okay. ¿por qué estás trabajando ahí? ¿Por qué eso es importante para la compañía? I productive the process. Okay, the very good. You are able to experience experience. Okay. I have, uh, right. How do you say experience? Experience. Experience. I have experience. Very good. You have a lot of experience in your position. Any other? Accomplishing work. Very good. That is an important one. You accomplish your job, your duties. Perfect. Good. So now we're going to check the uh, conversation. Como lo hacemos siempre. ¿verdad? <coughs> Primero yo digo y ustedes repiten. Luego chequeamos preguntas solo de pronunciación. Luego hacemos la, la conversación. La vamos a practicar. Y por último vamos a ver vocabulario. Palabras y sus significados. So... Everybody, please repeat. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Kurt, 
her care have comfortable in this area. Pretty comfortable, sir. Pretty comfortable, Pretty comfortable sir. With my experience. Yes. I can say this will be a great opportunity. I can, I can say, say this will be, be a great opportunity. opportunity. I am sure about that. I am sure, I am about, sure about, that. about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company. Because of my experience in the construction industry. Because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager. Yeah. Yes. And because, and because of my experience, experience as a manager. manager. I, I could be of great help in large projects. I could be of great help in large projects. Very good. Pronunciation questions. Uh, comfortable or... ah, okay esa tiene truco es dice comfortable la o la segunda o no se dice verdad ese es el truco comfortable repeat please comfortable 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 that's the one comfortable any other Opportunity. 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 Yeah, opportunity. Any other pronunciation question? Industry. 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 Is large or large? Large. Large. Any other? Asset. Asset. I asset. will be a great asset. Okay. Any other? Bring. Uh, which one? Bring. Bring. Yes. Bring. Bring. Any other? Very good, perfect. So let's practice. Okay. Uh, we are going to start with Blanca Ruth Orantes and Marlon Paniagua. Okay. Um Andre Ankir. Sí, usted inicia si quiere. Ok. Kirt, how comporta, comfortable? Comfortable. You, comfort, 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 comfortably. Comfortable. Comfortable. Si sí, la segunda no. O, no, solo no diga la segunda O y va a estar okay. bien. Ok, comfortably. Uh -huh. Comfortably, do you feel working in the sales area? Sales yeah. area. Yeah. Continue. Sí, ahora va Marlon. What my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. Okay. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to, to this company as an employer? 
I will be a very active actor in the company to come my experience in the construction industry. It okay. sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a man of manager, I could be of great help in the in that area. Very good, perfect, nice. Now Alvaro and Rolando. Okay. 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 I will start. I will start. Keep now comfortable. No switch. Okay, I will see. Here, how come? How come? In easier. I will start. Okay. Here, how come? How come? Sorry, can you say that word, teacher? Of course, comfortable. Comfortable. That's okay. Girl, how com how comfortable do you feel working in this sales area? Pretty comfortable. Pretty comfortable here with my experience. I can say this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, can you bring? Can you bring? Bring to this company. Bring. Can you bring to this company as an employer? Will be a great. Will be a great asset. Has asset in the great, company. Great asset. Great asset will be great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. Industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as as manager. I will be of great help in the last project. Very good, very good, very nice. Now let's see. Thank it's you. going to be uh, Salvador Bernal and Karen Jamilet Rivas. Okay, who start? You can start, Karen. Okay. Here, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as employee? I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because all of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in large project. Very good, very nice. Now we're going to listen to Eulise Torres and Carlos Dominguez. Okay. Who is start teacher? Uh, you can start, uh, Ulises. Carlos, ¿se uh, puede conectarse? ¿Puede? No sé okay. si puede Solo esperemos a ver si Carlos puede. Yes, teacher. Ok, very good. So, uh, Ulises, you start. Here, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Sales area. Sales area. My experience, I can say it would be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, can you break can you can you break to this company as an employee? I will be accepted in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help 
I learned the project. Okay, very good, nice. Now we're going to listen to uh, Jocelyn and Karen Sanchez. Hello, Jocelyn. Okay. Okay. Here. Yes, okay, go ahead. How comfortable do you feel working in the safe area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction construction industry. It's so it's so great. Yes, um, because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Very good, perfect, thank you. A ver, Jennifer Torres y Marlon Paniagua. Okay. Here, how comfortable do you feel working in this cell area? Very comfortable. So with my experience, I can say we need a great opportunity. Okay. I am sure about that. Look, can you worry? To this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company. Because of my experience in the construction industry. It's a good. Uh, yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in the large projects. Very good, perfect, nice. So now we're going to listen to Gabriela Sanchez and Carlos Arias. Okay. Kier, how comfortable, comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Sales area. Sales area. Very comfortable. By my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in a large project. Very good, perfect, very nice. So now we're going to listen to Rosa del Carmen and Irving Isai. Hello, Rosa and Irving. Yes, I'm here. Okay, let's check for Rosa. Can you do it, Rosa? Ok, creo que no puede ahorita. So, entonces Irving lo va a hacer con Brenda de Villatoro. Ok. Here, how uh, comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I answer about that. Look, can you break to this company is an employee? I will be a great asset in the in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. Excellent, great. Yes, and because of all my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in large projects. Very good, very nice. So let's listen now to Fatima, Noemi, and Edwin, Antonio. How comfortable do you feel working in the same area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. 
Luke, can you bring to this company as employees? I would be a great assistant, assistant in the company because of my experience in this construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in a large project. Very good, perfect. So let's see who's missing. Uh, Blanca Ruth, yeah, verdad? Me acuerdo que sí, ya. Creo que sí, todos ya. estamos ya. Okay. Very good. So remember the pronunciation for first of all, comfortable. 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 Uh -huh. Comfortable. 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 Good. Remember also this one is sales. 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 Okay. Uh, this is great. 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 This is bring. 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 Okay. And. Sería yo que en pronunciación esas son. Ahora veamos vocabulario. So, what is comfortable? Comfortable. 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 Cómodo, ¿verdad? Cómodo. Te sientes cómodo haciendo una u otra. Te sientes cómodo. Te sientes trabajando. En el área de ventas, en el sales. Ok. Y uh, acá, pretty comfortable sería como muy, mucho, ¿verdad? Muy cómodo. Very good. Uh, pretty. Uh -huh. Pretty aquí es un adverbio, no es un adjetivo. Let's see. It would be a great opportunity. What is bring? Traer. Traer. Aquí creería yo que falta una palabra, un par de palabras. Tendría que decir algo así como, what benefits can you bring to this company as an employee? Entonces, no tiene sentido así nomás. Entonces, le tendría que decir, look, what benefit can you bring to this company as an employee? Y ahí ya le responde, ¿verdad? I would be a great asset. ¿Qué sería un asset? Like a great investor. I'm sorry. Como un tesoro. No un tesoro. Activo. Activo. Esa es la palabra. Sería un gran activo en la compañía. Activo como activo y pasivo. ¿verdad? Pasivo es algo que resta. Activo es algo que que da a la compañía. Uh, because of my experience in the construction. It sounds great, suena grandioso, ¿verdad? And because of my experience, I could be a great help. O sea, vean cómo se ocupa también would. I would be, yo sería una gran, una, esta sería una gran oportunidad. Y luego, I would, be, I would be a great asset, yo sería un gran activo. Y luego, I could be a great help, yo podría ser de gran ayuda. Que es lo que estábamos viendo. Lo único que nosotros vimos casi todos los usos de esto. Pero con el verbo to be algo así sería. I could be. Yo podría ser. Do you have any questions here in the conversation? Okay, very good. No, so no. we are going to do the exercise. So discuss the answers to the questions below. What would be some benefits of having Kurt in the company. Uh -huh. What will be some benefits? Free comfort pain. Okay, he feels comfortable in the sales area. Very good. Any other? The experience very good experience in the construction industry and any other there is one more the experience yeah. as a manager very good the experience as a manager very nice now number two 
do you consider that experience is important? Yes. Yes, of course, experience is very important. Why is important? Very important. Okay, why? Because help in the in the job for the realize. ¿Cómo se dice realizar? Um, depende, realizar el qué? El trabajo que se puede realizar. Realizar actividad. Uh, do activities because of the job you can do. Because of the job and activities, relationship for the the this world for the for the world and um, this world. For... Okay. Very good. So definitely experience is very important because for first of all, you know, right? You know how to do some things. It's easy to adapt in a new job if you have experience. So there are ben many benefits actually about that one. Okay. El video por ahí lo tengo. Lo vamos a ver o más tarde o mañana. Bueno, el, viernes, el lunes. So let's continue. Job listings, how to use will be and could be. So, we are going to use will be and could be when you want to give the impression of possibility in the future. For example, I will be a great asset, okay? Or I could be of great help in the sales department. Que son los ejemplos que vimos allá. Este pues creo que no le va a costar porque es el que está en la plataforma. Así es de que vamos a hacer el ejercicio número cinco and scramble the words from uh, to form sentences. So, I will give you a few minutes. Le voy a dar un par de minutos para que lo podamos hacer. And then we are going to share.
Have you finished? Terminamos o oh, necesitan más tiempo. Okay, I don't know if you finished already. Okay, have you finished already? O oh, necesitan más tiempo. More time, please. Okay, good. More time, no worries.
Okay, have you finished already? Let's check number one. Who wants to share number one? It will be a great opportunity to study abroad. To study abroad. Very good. Perfect. Nice. Number two. Who wants to share number two? A training could be. Uh, training could be. Training could be. Beneficial for our employer. Very good. Training could be beneficial for our employees. Perfect. Number three. Working less hour will be another benefit. benefit. Very good. Working less hour will be another benefit. Number four. Maria could be helped in the great department of inventory. That is number five, and it's correct. Very good. And number four? Anybody has number four? We can know will be a great option to have happy employer. Happy, in this case it's staff, but in the platform it's a happy staff, right? So, and employees. Oh, I think I use like the platform. Okay, but that is fine. That is good. I understand that one. Very good, perfect. So you can see that it's very easy, right? Um, We're not gonna do that one. And we're not gonna do that one. Okay, perfect. So do you have any questions so far? Questions? No questions. Eso es como repaso de lo que ya habíamos visto. Es muy fácil. Entonces, tenemos algunos minutos. What we're going to do is to practice. Okay? We're going to practice everybody. So, um, what kind of movies do you like? Question for everybody. What kind of movies do you like? I like science fiction. science fiction movies. Science fictions, those are amazing. I love science fictions. What are your favorite science fiction movies, uh, Indira? Mm -hmm. Matrix. Yeah, that is one of my favorites. Matrix <laughs> is amazing. <laughs> Very good. Yes, me too. Any but other? the last movie, mm, I don't, I didn't like. Yeah, the last movie was not good, sadly, right? So, not good. But <laughs> the, the first one was was very good. I really like that movie. Yes, me too. And also like it, Avatar. Avatar. Avatar is a very good movie as well. And uh, you are you are you seeing the the new one? No, not yet. Yeah, it's coming very soon. Maybe this year, I guess. So let's see how it goes. Yes. yes. Very nice. Perfect. Uh, what about the other people? What are your favorite kind of movies? Superhero movies. Superhero movies are very good. What are your favorite movies? I uh, like the Guardian of the Galaxy. Marvels, all the all the Marvel movie. Very good. Yeah, uh, I love that. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, I DC. I think I don't like so much like um Marvel movies that I have more more movies. Yeah, it's different, right? I mean, in the comics, DC is very good, but in the movies, I don't know. The stories are not that good. The special effects are not that good. So you are right. Marvels mm. are better, right? Uh, 
but they have huh? the hybrid production. Yeah, yeah. There are visual effects. Amazing, right? It's very, very good. Uh, did you see Thor yeah. Love and Thunder? Yeah, that was very funny. Very funny, yeah. It was kind of good, right? Yeah. Which one is your favorite? Yeah. My favorite? Uh, Marvel? I don't know. Yeah, Avengers? Yeah, that is the best one. Avengers, Infinity War? Infinity, yeah. That Infinity is the, War. Yeah. yeah. Infinity War and maybe Endgame, that is the end. Uh, but yeah, Infinity War was amazing. Yeah, for me, Infinity War is bad. Very good. Uh, did you see uh, Black Panther 2? Wakanda Forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah but huh? that was a good movie. Oh, I haven't seen that one. But it's missing, but it's missing for the the Black Panther, yeah. Yeah, it's not the same, right? Sadly, uh, the actor died. Yeah. But, yeah. but anyways, I, I want to see that one. That's the one that I will see maybe this weekend. And uh, did you yeah, see that's Black good. Adam? Black Adam? No. It's, it's because I don't like the DC movies. Yeah, the is stars him. Uh, okay. Did you like that kind? That is the reason because I didn't. <laughs> Not that much, right? But you are right. I don't know. I don't know why they do. I mean, there are many people that they can pay so they can do a very good story and the special effects. Um, well, but that is true. Yeah, Marvel is much better than that one. Yeah. Very good, Ron. Thank you. Any other person? What are your favorite kind of movies? Um, the horror movie. Which one? I'm sorry. The horror movie. I just can't hear you. I'm sorry. Se oye muy lejos. Um, the horror movie. Horror movies. Yeah, I like horror movies as well. Which yeah. ones are your favorites? Uh, the Insidious Part 1. That is a very good this one. This is terrible. Uh, the first... The first... Basically, we I like to see is the... I uh, scream because the, the... The effects is... It's interesting. Um, the tram is is very good. Um, yeah, that is a very good as well. Yeah, very good. Insidious is one of the best. And yeah, you are right. The one and the two are the best. They are very good. Yeah. I, uh -huh. I saw one that I recommend you. Uh, I don't know if you have seen that one. It's called Hereditary. Have you seen Hereditary? No. No deal. Look um, at that. That is a very good movie. Hereditary yeah. is nice. I like Hereditary. that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. What other movies do you like in horror? Um, I like the 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 demon half half night. Oh, I didn't see that one. Yeah. It's a good movie. Yeah, it's the 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 demos because I invocate invocated for for the persons is the com se convierte in in the it transforms ah it transforms in the in the the, the miedo sería el screen verdad miedo uh, fear fear or is afraid of in the afraid of for the people. It's uh, interesting. What is the name of that one you say? Uh, Demon for Half Night. Sería media, Demonio Medianoche? Ah, okay. A Midnight. A Midnight. Sorry. Okay, very good. I, I will look for that one. I didn't see that one. Yeah, I will look for yeah. that one. Definitely, I will see that one. Okay, very good. Thank you, Marlon. Any other 
people. What are your favorite kind of movies? I'm sorry. Uh -huh, any other? No one else. Ok, ahora vamos a practicar entonces como ya no hay opiniones. Individual. Let's see. Um, I'm going to choose today. Uh -huh. uh, Catherine Indira. Hello. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm good. Um, I am at work right now. Really? What time do you finish at work? Tomorrow tomorrow at 6 a.m. Really? Tomorrow at 6 a.m.? That is hard. Yeah. Yes, my schedule is uh, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. In my end. So, and you work every day at night? No, only twice a uh, week. And the other days you work in the day? Yes, I work two days and I have two days off. Okay, so that is not that bad. And uh, uh, what do you do? At work, my work. Uh-huh. I con I am concierge. Uh, uh, is is like a receptionist in a resident condom condominium. Yeah, con uh -huh. mm -hmm. that is like a apartment building. Apartment building, yes. yes. Okay, very good. Interesting. That is very nice. And in your job, do you work? Uh, do you speak English? Mm. A little bit because uh, here there are uh, foreign foreigners. Ah, there are foreigner people. people. Foreigner people, and sometimes they come to the lobby and they ask some question, or maybe they need to have some information. So a little bit, I try. Okay, very good, because you can practice. That is nice. Yes, yes, I can practice with them. Okay, and uh, but the neighbors, are, are they noisy or they are relaxed? Um, there are noisy neighbor, noisy neighbor, neighbor, and also there are a relaxed neighbor. Uh, yeah. Sometimes are there are neighbors that uh, put the music very heavy, very loud, and other neighbors call me and they said me that the music is very loud. They can um, how do you say queja? Complete. Com Complain. Yes, they call to complain about the music. Yeah, I, I believe here in El Salvador that is a common complaint, right? That neighbors are too noisy sometimes. And yeah. what do you do? Do you call the noisy neighbor? Yes, I I have to call the neighbor and ask ask, ask them, uh, please, they can um, bajar. How do you say bajar the volume? Turn down. Turn down the volume of the music. Okay, in my end, it's very nice. So is it hard to work at night? Yes, it's very hard because when they come at 2 a.m., I feel sleepy and I have to drink two cups of coffee to keep um, despierta, ¿cómo se dice? Awake. Awake, to keep awake every, yeah. every 
the morning and every night. Yeah, I know it should be difficult. And is, uh, I mean, can you sleep very well during the day? Mm, sometimes when I arrive to my at home, I um, put the put a savanna. How do you say savanna? Sheets. Uh, okay, a black sheet on the window to simulate the night. Ah, okay, that is a good trick. That is fine. <laughs> yes, um, yes, sometimes I sleep well. I I think that I I um, I used to um I used to are ready to work here at night. Okay, that is very good. If you are happy in your job, I mean that is fine, right? Yes, I'm. Ha I am happy because I have a time, free time, a four four days a week, and that is the reason because I like my job because the free time. Yeah, yeah, that is a very good thing because you have a lot of free time. So it's difficult, but also it's nice, right? Yes, yes. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you, Indira. Okay. Okay, so my friends, do you have any questions before we finish? Pregunta dudas antes de terminar. Everything clear as horchata. Good. Eh, aún no terminamos la primera semana porque vamos atrasados un día, ¿verdad? Entonces, la otra semana, lunes, es el viernes de nosotros. Entonces, vamos a terminar la primera semana. Pero creo que vamos bastante bien. Veo que van avanzando ahí en la plataforma. Eso es muy importante que siempre vayan haciendo los ejercicios, que no nos quedemos atrasados porque ya cuando ya toca cerrar todo, pues a veces en un solo día no se puede hacer todo, ¿verdad? So, It's very important. Igual si hay algún otro error, alguna otra situación, me avisan y la vamos chequeando. Ok, vamos a ir viendo. Igual yo le voy a estar mandando ahí por el WhatsApp algunas uh, cosas que veamos en la clase. So, we're going to finish the class. I'm going to check the attendance. And then we go to bed for a little while. So, let's see. El 101 de ahora le toca a Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villa Toro. Ok, Álvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Present teacher. Good. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villa Toro. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Good. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Good. Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quinteros Umaña. Present. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Good. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Present. Good. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. I'm here. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. Present. Good. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Present. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Karen Lisette Sanchez Castro. Present teacher. Good. Catherine Indira Velázquez Castro. Present. Good. Marlon Osvaldo Paniagua Hernández. Present. Good. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. And Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Good. 
Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you. I hope uh, you have a very good night and rest on the weekend. Have a nice weekend. See you on Monday and dream in English. See you. Have a nice weekend. See you. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. Good night. See you. See you on Monday. See on you on Monday. Monday. Good. See you. See you. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night, good night, everybody. Good, good night. night. See you next week. See you next week. See you Monday. See you on Monday.
Hola, Brenda. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Hola. Hello. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Bien, lo siento, teacher. Yo no entendí. Mire, y en las otras, en los otros uh, módulos no se quedaban 10 minutos después de la clase. Eh, realmente no, ninguna vez. Bueno, ya llevo hasta el módulo 6. Y para esta vez yo me inscribí según en el principiante 1 nuevamente porque yo sé que no he aprendido. Pues siento que todos los compañeros se desenvuelven, conversan y todo, y yo todavía no puedo eso. Yo no puedo, así como estuvo practicando con la compañera ahorita al final. No entiendo de qué están hablando. No, pero mire, es un proceso, es un proceso, y este módulo, este módulo está así como, eh, tiene, hay mucha gente de diferentes módulos, me imagino que el otro año ya se va a diversificar, se van a poner donde exactamente deben ir, pero es una buena práctica. Ajá, y es, lo que veo es que es un repaso de lo que hemos estado viendo, por ejemplo, los verbos que hemos estado viendo ahorita, ya los vi, nada más que no los domino todavía, Ok. pero de No, pero Tengo miren, que seguir intentando. claro, usted lánzase, de repente usted ve que le pregunta a los compañeros y usted lánzase, usted hable y ahí vamos a ir corrigiendo y esto es un proceso largo, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero lo importante es eso. ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, perfecto, bueno, eh, yo siempre pregunto al final de la clase, yo le digo quién, a quién le toca, porque cada quien tiene un día asignado para estos one on ones Pero al final, si hay alguien que no se queda y si se quiere quedar, pues esto es para practicar, para ver si tiene alguna pregunta, alguna duda de lo que hemos visto. Bueno, con la con la pregunta cuatro del ejercicio sí me quedé, que ese no lo hice, porque no entendí por qué no va la palabra esa que está ahí en la plataforma. No va está. porque es un error, está malo. Mm. Entonces, por eso se los puse así, así como se los puse, así lo tienen que poner. Si lo ponen así, sí. les se les va a quedar bien, entonces. Por eso les mandé la respuesta para que, para que pudieran avanzar, porque si no... Lo que no pasa es que en la estructura solo se ve las primeras palabras y lo del final no se logra. Ah, pero lo mandé al grupo. En el grupo está toda la oración. Ah, ok. Ahí voy a revisar entonces. Sí, porque no entendí. ¿Cómo le explico, teacher? Yo, este... Voy viendo, digamos, los ejercicios y los ejemplos y de ahí me voy viendo, pero no entiendo la mayoría de palabras, solo algunas. Y voy relacionando con eso. Digamos, si yo sé qué significa una palabra, yo relaciono a las demás. <risa> pero no sé lo que es. Dice. Sí, eh, es como le digo, es un proceso, pero es, es muy bueno que usted siga, pues que siga adelante. Igual si tiene preguntas... Eh... me puede chatear ahí directamente, ¿verdad? Y podemos ver algunas cosas que, que no le salgan bien o que no he entendido. Y también en la clase también puedo preguntar en cualquier momento. Ok, gracias. Perfecto, cuídese mucho entonces y nos veremos el lunes. Good night. Good night.